this is basically chip carving. I've already started the center line, but I'm going to cut a little deeper over here on the thicker part of the letter. I find it important for a lot of reasons to have the left hand somehow engaged in the operation as well. Sometimes I use it for a, a fulcrum, sometimes more power, sometimes just so that everybody knows where the blade is. You don't end up sticking the blade in in your left hand. <laughs> Chip carving can get quite ornate. It's a lot of fun. You know, you can do panels like uh, on your cabinets or you could do boxes. As you might guess, letters with curves in them are uh, most challenging. <coughs> so right now I'm using my left hand as an additional force. When you're cutting across grain like this, it's nice to have your your blade slanted like they say askew. It creates more of a slicing action rather than forcing a straight cut, you know, a straight chisel right straight through the grain. Uh, the grain would resist more. They would stand together like an army. And, uh, but when you do the slicing technique, it separates, I mean, it cuts, it kind of separates the grain in the cut. Now, and these are really nice little knives. I like the handle shape because you can go in and just kind of use it to brush the, the grain back down nice and neat. Ah. <clears throat> there is no. The S is an interesting one because it's got so many different angles and stuff and maybe it'll be handy to, or helpful to see how, at least how I manage it. Now my left hand is acting as a support and a possible braking system to keep it from getting away and going too far. Now this is wider, so I want the, the center cut to be a bit deeper, like on the O's here. And that ought to done mostly. You want to sweep up the grain when with your cut. So on, on this S, I'm going to start right about here. The part of the grain that, the part of the cut that's going to show or is going to be inside here. So that's the grain I'm concerned with. And I, it gives you a nice smooth cut. Otherwise, I would try and drag your blade in deeper than you want, different directions. You end up not looking much like an S. See how the grain is breaking out into the open space, which is exactly what you want it to do. Gives it some place to go. When doing this, you want to try your best to keep the tip of your knife from digging in too deep into the V at the bottom. Makes it look messy if you dig too deep. So with an S or an O or any curve, of course, you want nice smooth uh, sweeping cuts. It's a pretty looking letter. Okay. There's an S. This is a problem when you're doing this kind of work. Left a few, few marks, but if you uh, wet that, with a little bit of water. Those will swell back up. 
Anyway, don't need to watch another S. That is pretty much that for this panel. Thanks for uh, checking in on us and, and uh, sticking with me on this project. Hope it helped. Uh, in case any of you are going to do any, uh, you know, chip carving letters or anything like that. Anyway, have a great day. Hit subscribe.